So we have a back room now. We should probably think of some interior design themes. Hey YouTube, welcome back to day 17 of our 30 day spooky challenge where we are aiming to create a Halloween themed island. We have three simple rules to follow though. We need to start and finish a new island in 30 IRL days. Time travel is okay and there is no DLC or Nintendo Switch Online allowed. As always, I hope you have an awesome day Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So yes, we have a new room in our house, which means we could probably start thinking about designing the interior of our house as well but maybe more on that later. It seems everyone has come to the same conclusion regarding the highlights we put on Jack's face on the map, and it does make him look less like Jack and more like a bear or something. So we're probably gonna get rid of these right now. I was thinking maybe we could do the entire thing in another level of cliffs, but maybe that's something we can try a little later. But first, we'll just get rid of all of these, I think, for now, and just keep it as it was towards the start of the previous episode. It doesn't look like we have any new hybrids either, and it was raining, so they were well watered. So I think we're just having bad luck with the hybrids. But we've had a few good ideas. We've had the ideas of putting orange pumpkins everywhere and also the windfalls that come in an orange color um, by default. Why am I rebuilding what I'm trying to destroy? I did like the idea of having kind of two trees on this tiny little cliff. I thought that was really cute, but we, we can't really keep these if we're not keeping the others. So maybe we could do that somewhere else on our island. It's so satisfying when you hit the middle one that's got two curves on it because it takes away all three. That's super satisfying. And we'll get rid of the stalk part as well. Okay, Jack is back to one tier or one level of cliff and it does look better actually, but I think we should have some vines on us. Let's go and get the other vines. There we go. We've been saving this moss and vines and maybe we'll find another island today but we've got 28 moss to work with and um, 19 vines that should be enough to get started so let's start with the nose a nice simple one hang one on cliff there we go i don't think we can't do them on the side can we oh we can no way that's really cool because we can't even use the ladder on a edge piece can we oh we can Mandela effect again. Okay, we might have to go up a camera angle for this and I'm thinking maybe just let's just start with Plant one. Actually, we probably could get away with planting two. There we go. That looks really cool I think actually should we have put a path down the trouble with the path is it's gonna show up on the map um, So we might have to stick with patterns for this We'll deal with the patterns later. Let's put some here. I love the fact that we can put vines on the diagonal tiles. That's really cool. There we go. I don't think we need to put any this way, do we? Because we're not going to have the benefit of seeing them. They're just so cool. I would like to see if a villager house would fit in here. Oops. They look so cool when they're fully grown. Okay, that will do because we need to drop some patterns as well. I'm hoping the glowing moss doesn't count as a weed. That would be really interesting to see if it affected our island rating. We should have thought of that. Actually, we'll save the other ones for the mouth because we're going to need quite a lot there, I think. Okay, looking cool. Now it's just the mouth left to do, so it already looks so much creepier, doesn't it? I can't wait to get some, like, um, or create kind of a pattern or something that we can place there as well. I get the feeling we're going to need more vines. The hardest thing is to try and make something look random, knowing that it's not random. <laughs> That's, it is really difficult. There we go. We've used up all of our vines and hopefully it looks random enough. We definitely don't want to place them too close to the bottom cliff because we just won't be able to see them. So it's pretty pointless. So we try and keep them towards the top cliff. And we have one more to place. Where should we put it? Maybe I'm thinking in the middle. There we go. They look so cool. They are definitely made for decorating. I I don't think they impact your score. That would be pretty harsh if they did. I like the way that when we've cut out Jack's head, it's also created kind of these little islands as well. This is going to be a great place to put a villager house. I'm thinking we should move someone up here actually and start giving them a, a, a bit of a spooky garden. But first, we need to clear some trees. 
Okay, we have some fruit power. I think we need to clear some trees and move someone up to this little area here. It's quite cool. They'd have a lot of space to themselves. It would be quite cool to kind of have it here and incorporate the pond, maybe, in, the, in their garden. So we'll get rid of these. And this one... I know it annoys people when I leave the holes, <laughs> so I will cover them up today. Okay, that's cleared some space, and I think we should probably move Sylvia up here because she's the closest to the entrance, and that will just create some space for an entrance build at some point. So let's go ahead and see if we can get Sylvia's house moved. Hey Sylvia, we're about to move your house. Well, hello there Maury, your home now has another room where once there was none, yes? Uh, you can use it for whatever you'd like, which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 348,000 bells. We need to make some serious bells. Okay, we're going to move Sylvia. Sylvia, understood. The construction cost will run you 10,000 bells. Should we talk to Sylvia about this now? Sure. We probably should tell her. <laughs> I think that covers everything. So, Sylvia, do you want to move where Maury thinks you should move? Yeah, sure, I'm in. I was just thinking it was time for a shake-up. Point the way, boing. Okay, we have Sylvia's house kit. I'm thinking quite far back, actually. Maybe as close to this tree as we can get. Wait a minute. You can put houses on the edge of cliffs. What? I picked a new place for Sylvia's home. I sure hope she likes it. How long has this been a thing? We literally placed it right up against the cliff, but we can't place it next to a tree. That's so weird. I don't know if I'm going to regret that because we can't go behind it now, but we can fence it off and maybe fence this entire area. Or maybe we can move someone else up here. I, I don't know at the moment. I also wonder whether we should change the shape of the pond into a little skull. Uh, but that's something else to think about. Uh, we'll, maybe we'll design Sylvia's garden once uh, once she's moved in. Okay, we've got some trees and bushes to get rid of. So let's just put them over here to give this wide open space a little bit of uh, aesthetic. Okay, I always dig where I want the trees to go just to ensure I'm going to get them exactly where I want. So we'll just put a couple here. Try and block Red's boat. We don't want to see that all the time. <laughs> Uh, let's just start in the corner there, and I think maybe a couple random trees for now, and one in the middle. Okay, we've got some random trees on here again, making it look a bit more natural. Okay, we should probably spend a little time just gathering the rest of the fossils and maybe going through the rocks. Look, I dug up a drumoid. Nice. We'll take as many gyroids as we can get. Another gyroid. Look, I dug up a scatteroid. Okay, this is Sylvia's house. I hope. Yeah, Sylvie's house. So when they move up to the new location, this will free up this area a bit. And maybe we can make like a bit of a spooky entrance. Nothing, nothing too much because the resident service is right there ruining it. But we can create something here, hopefully. And maybe create a path down to our um, gnome storytelling campground thing. I'd really like to create it so you can hop over here as well. So I think what we're going to do is just terraform a tiny little bit of this cliff just so we can make it possible to jump over the cliffs. So it's just going to be a case of making it come a little bit closer. And if we fill in these corners here, there we go. We should be able to jump between the two without having to get down or use our ladder. Yay! It's going to make it easier to clean this area as well. I thought there might be another fossil up here, but there isn't, unfortunately. If we were going to make a rock garden, I guess this would be the place to do it, since there's already two rocks next to each other. But I was kind of thinking if we do come around to making like a fairy garden or a rock garden, I'd want them on top of cliffs, I think, and then we could carve them out. Carve the cliffs out so the rocks are on top and then make like a stone henge or something. That would be really cool. Okay, let's grab these fossils from yesterday and just get them appraised quickly because we need to we need to pay off our bridge. Who, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. We've got seven. Blathers is like, why are you never donating fossils? You can just tell it's like, oh, this is something that's not part of our collection. Why are you not donating it? <laughs> hey, Chow. Hey there, Maury. I, uh, I think I had something to say just now. Oh, yeah. Nope, there it goes again. <laughs> oh, okay. I swear that's not the first time Chow says something about being forgetful, is it? 
Ooh, a spooky tree! Maury, welcome! What do you need today? I need to sell some fossils, please. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 25,668 bells. I mean, that's good, but we're nowhere near paying off that bridge. Okay, we ordered a couple of new lamps from the Nook Stop, which we can... Oh, we need to customize them. Oh, no. Hi, Harv. Howdy, Squirt. You looking to get something customized? Sure am. Uh, we can also check what the organ designs there are for that street organ. So let's do the street lamp first. We want it in black. Thank you very much. Done and about to be delivered. Thank you. Oh, cool. So we can have natural, blue, yellow, or dark brown, which kind of looks the best. I think that would fit in the best. So we'll just go with the dark brown. I think placing these street organ just randomly will... It creates its own creepiness, I think. <laughs> Bye, Harv. There we go. Perfect. Now we've got three lampposts. Uh, I think that's all we need, lamppost-wise. Maybe we could get a fourth if we've got some spare nook miles later. See? It's haunted! <laughs> I was right. That's just plain creepy. It's going to look so creepy at night time. Okay, I've decided to clean out the storage instead and try and make some money because we've kind of maxed our storage and we've got things in here we're not even using. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and try and sell these so just so we can pay off the bridge. And in 17 days, we've found 12 gold nuggets. So I'm sure if we really needed them, we can find them again. But I can't imagine for spooky furniture at least, we won't really need gold nuggets. Oh, Scoot, hey, <laughs> doing some shopping. Maury, welcome! Okay, it's mostly crafting materials and the nuggets, so hopefully we get quite a decent sum. All done, I can buy these from you for a total of- Whoa! 165 th That's gotta be the golden nuggets, hasn't it? Are you kidding me? We've been sitting on a gold mine, literally! <laughs> okay, at least we'll be doing something productive this episode, if nothing else. Hey Lloyd! Hello, good friend. Right now, I'm taking donations for a stone bridge. Our goal is 168,000 bells. Currently, we have 866 bells in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? I can't tell if Lloyd is, like, super sarcastic or does maybe he just hates his job. Sure, I'll help. Al just casually walks away. Nope, I'm not donating. <laughs> May I have 167,134 bells as a donation? Friend, donate. Because of you, we've reached our goal. Next step, project completion. Great work, buddy. Yay, Al, you better cheer us. <laughs> All right, we reached our donation goal. So tomorrow we will have a stone bridge. Okay, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. One thing I'm going to do before the next episode, which I won't bore you with now, but I'm going to move... All of the flowers, I think our hybrid growing just isn't working. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about some flowers that grow here and actually won't produce hybrids. So I don't really know how it works. So I'm going to cut these down. I'm going to move a bunch onto the beach. Um, ready to decorate with the villager homes if we need them and just get rid of a few and sell them and just declutter the island a bit because we've just got too much and they're not really working so we've got a few hybrids that we can kind of kickstart the hybrid growing with I think I'm just going to get rid of the rest so by tomorrow that's what will have changed I think and maybe if I get time I'll harvest the pumpkins but I won't bore you with that now thank you so much for watching I hope you're still enjoying this series well over halfway now so I'm getting a bit nervous I don't know if we're gonna make it in time but we're just gonna keep plodding along keep trying to do little builds here and there move the villagers around a little bit um, and yeah so thank you for watching thank you of course to the patrons and channel members and I hope I'll see you tomorrow bye